Hey guys, this is the Bracelet Girl, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Rainbow Loom Minion. And this is the first time where I actually do not have an example to show you, but we will be creating one in this video. So let's get started. You will need 40 yellow bands and about 20 blue bands. Now this seems like a lot, but you will be doubling them, so that's why. So grab your supplies and get ready for step one. This is step one. Start by getting your bands and your loom. So I just estimated here, so I have my 40 yellow bands and about 20 blue bands. So now we can start laying our bands on our loom. Okay, so now to start. We're going to start with our loom's arrows facing away from us, as always. And we're going to take two yellow bands. So every time we place bands, they're always going to be like this unless I say otherwise and you're just gonna go up like that take your next two go straight up take your next two go straight up take your next two go straight up so right here I have four and you're gonna do six so do this until you have six okay so now that we have this we're gonna take um, yellow again, still doubled, we're going to go in the middle, go straight up again. So this time instead of placing six, we're going to be placing eight. So the exact same thing, and just place eight. Okay, so now that it looks like this, we're going to go to our last um, row of pegs. And do the exact same thing we did for the first. So we're going to go like this. And we are going to keep them doubled still. And we're just going to do all six. Okay, so now it should look somewhat like this. With your middle row um, longer by two bands. And now we're going to grab our blue bands. So these are going to be doubled also. But we're just going to place them until the end. Just like I'm doing here. So you're going to do this for all of the rows until the end. Okay, so now it should look like this. Sorry guys, my estimate on blue was really low. But you can just grab some more. Now we are going to add triangles. So we're going to start from the beginning again. And we're going to take a yellow rubber band. See if this ever focuses. Okay. And we are just going to go like this. So we're making upside down triangles. And just to show you. So you can just go like this. And pull it down. And then you can see how the blue is overpowering right here. So now, so there's more blue. So now we're going to switch to blue. And this is one band. So this is the only time that we're not doing doubled. Okay, so now that we're done, it should look like this. And we're going to push down all of our bands. Now, personally, this isn't my favorite part. But, um, it will help you later on. Because if you have w too much bands on a peg, you're lucky to have the bands fall off. Okay, so now we're going to flip our loom around so that the arrows are facing towards us and that the C's right here are open towards us. Now we're going to proceed to step two. 
This is step two. Grab your hook so we can start hooking. Okay, so I'm guessing a lot of you can see that this is exactly like a triple single, except we just want to make sure like we have blue there and yellow there. So we're going to be hooking exactly the same. Move back your triangle, grab this band, and pull this back, and hook forward. So, probably can't see this, but move back the triangle, grab this, and hook it forward. I'm going to show you guys more closely. Grab the bottom. And hook it forward. Last time, move this back. Grab your bottom two bands. And hook it forward. Do this until the end. Okay, so now we are going to take this. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. Now the middle, the middle is easiest because there is no triangle to move back. So we're just grabbing the bottom, hooking it forward. Grabbing the bottom, hooking it forward. Once again, do this until the end. Okay, so now that it looks like this, we're gonna do our last row. So the exact thing we've been doing, this is going to feel really loose, so just keep it with your finger. But go in, grab these, and hook it forward. Move this back, grab the bottom two, hook it forward. So once again, the exact same thing as the first. And for the last time, you're going to do this until the end. So now it looks like this. Now we're going to go here, and we're going to take off our top two, and um, take off that triangle. So we don't need this triangle anymore, but I like to put it in because it makes it a bit more secure. So then take out the top two bands. Take out that triangle, put back on, last two, take the top two bands out, take out the triangle, and put the band back on. So now it's like this. Now either take your hook or your fingers, I like using my fingers, and just take this, the left, and bring it to the middle, and take the right, and bring it to the middle. So this is what it should look like, and it's exactly like a triple single. Now we're going to take our hook and put our hook down under all the bands, take an extension, put it on our hook like that, and pull it through. So you take it, pull it up, and then grab the other end. It doesn't want to come. Okay, and then put it up. And you're just going to push it to the grip. Now you're going to pull off your minion bracelet. So now your minion should look like this. But first, it needs an extension. So if you've been watching like other videos for this, you might notice that it needs an eye. Now, I don't have a googly eye on me, so I do something different. I just add the goggles on, so you can do that if you'd like. But we need to add an extension. So we're just going to go like this, and I'm guessing you guys all know how to do this if you made a triple single before. Um... Put a couple bands, I'm doing six. That's just my wrist size. Sorry if you guys can't see this. I'm videotaping myself and it can be pretty tricky. But yeah. 
So take it off our hook, obviously. Put our finger, place it on right there, pull it back, and single hook it forward. So I'm just going to hook this on, attach it, and I'll show you how I do my goggles in a minute. So go like that, attach a C-clip. And then take the other side and place it on. So there we have our minion bracelet. Now take your loom again and you're going to put about, um, I'd say about five bands of different colors. So you're going to have four black and either one or two bands um, depending on if you're going to have a one-eyed minion or a two-eyed minion. So you actually might have six bands. Um, you can use white or gray for your goggles. I'm gonna use white, and I'm gonna be doing a one-eyed minion. So I'm just gonna go like this. But if you're doing a two-eyed minion, then instead of the black being here, um, put a white and then add an extra black. And then we're just going to hook it And we are going to attach a C-clip onto this side. And pull it off. And attach it to the other side. So just take the end and hook it on. So now to put our goggles on, we're actually just going to take this blue off right here so just pull it straight down and we are going to take our goggles and slide them where we want them so you just slide yours on and move it around to the way you want it and if you have an eyeball you can attach it now but if not it will just look like this which is fine and then, again, just attach this. So now we have our minion bracelet. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.